today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. It is 2222. Two, 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 two. <laughs> I have to show you my shirt. Teaching second grade on Tuesday. So it was also twins and two Tuesday. So our admin and a lot of our teachers were walking around with the little frilly tutus all day. So it was super adorable, but I rather my t-shirt that I have on. Anywho, it is dismissal time. Remember to take a breath. I just got off the phone with one of my parents. It was a long but much needed conversation. Um, not our friend who I need to have a conversation about, but it was with another student and mom and I, we're gonna, we're gonna crush this. It's that teamwork that I like. So I like when I can have conversations with parents and actually accomplish something. So I feel good. My ears are a little red from holding the phone so long, but hey, it's all good. It's for a purpose. It's for a cause, the right cause. It's gonna be a real short video this week, Teacher Tribe, because... You all know yesterday there was no school. It was President's Day, so we're starting on a Tuesday, 2-2. Two, two. And then Thursday, I'll pro I'm gonna have to record in the morning because I will. I leave early for um, leaving and traveling for our anniversary on Friday with my little love bug. So it's only gonna be today, tomorrow, and half of Thursday that you're going to be able to see, but I'll definitely record Thursday morning of what they're going to do for both Thursday and for Friday. So this way I'm not really, you're not really missing out much on what we're gonna be doing in class. So, but I can definitely tell you that today, we, we didn't really do any fun activities. Again, this district is very like cutthroat and strict with what we're doing and following the plans. So today was unit seven, day two. So we continued working on phonics. So we had our interactive text this morning, which was called, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't remember what it's called. And I don't think I have any extras right here. Oh, it was about the, the, fly, the flying plane, the, the Wright brothers um, and how they created the plane and how that was a big deal. And it was talking about that. Um, and then while reading that text, we had to underline compound words and circle words that had silent letters. So like the K-N in Nat, no, the G-N in Nat, the K-N in Knit. There was something else, but I can't remember. There was another one with a silent, with a silent letter. So we had to circle the silent letter words and underline the compound words. So during whole group, we had to reread our first short read and we finished the vocab um, chart that goes along with it. And then we had to identify the central idea in the diary. Then we did our horizons for last week because we never got the chance to do it on Friday because our guidance counselor did her guidance lesson. So this week's, um, this week's paper or this week's lesson is lesson 76, which my team lead copied today. So that is in my mailbox. I'm gonna staple it together to make a packet and then we'll do one page for the remainder of the week. Um, for writing today, we went over our mentor text, which we were supposed to do Friday. So we finished that today and got a head start on our um, brainstorming, which we're gonna to finish tomorrow. For content, we're finally done with science and we're back on social studies. So we're reading the studies weekly magazines. So today we did um, week 18, tomorrow we do week 20, and then Thursday we do week six. Friday we're supposed to be finishing with our Black History Month PowerPoint, but I'll probably do that tomorrow. That's what I'll probably do. I'll probably do finish the Black History Month PowerPoint tomorrow and then trade the studies weekly for Friday. That sounds like more of a plan. I'll probably, I'll have to change that. I'm gonna do that so we can finish learning about Black History Month in the month of February. And then for math today, we did Go Math Lesson 6.8, tomorrow 6.9, then 6.10. And then Friday, we're starting um, an I Ready lesson because next week is when we're doing our unit eight math test, I think. I think we're in unit eight. I don't even remember anymore. It's all becoming a blur, but we're dealing with adding and subtracting three digit numbers with regrouping. So it's so much going on guys. It's oh. looking into tomorrow. 
We're going to do, um, we're doing a brain pop on commas because the brain pop is for sending a letter. So there's multiple videos on dealing with commas, but since they're writing a letter for, um, their writing essay this for this unit plus a lot of the um stories that we're reading are more diary entries i figured we'll do the brain pop and talk about the commas that are at the beginning and ending of a letter so make it fun why not so i'm gonna play the brain pop video for sending a letter which talks about how to structure the letter um we'll do some text evidence questions on the story that we were reading today um, like I said, we'll do lesson 76, one of those pages, continue brainstorming for their letter. Um, like I just said, I'm going to flip flop the studies weekly in the black history month PowerPoint, and then go math will be 6.9. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to update you on, but yeah. I'm going to wrap it up here. So I will see you all tomorrow for hump day already. Oh, I love short weeks. Bye, teacher tribe. Hi, hey, teacher tribe. Happy dismissal. <sighs> Remember to take a breath. So today is hump day. It is Wednesday, February 23rd. And I just finished prepping for the substitutes. So they actually just accepted like an hour ago, both of my time off requests. So I had a sub for tomorrow. So tomorrow is only a half day. So I'll be recording first thing tomorrow morning so I can wrap, out this, wrap up this video. So tomorrow morning is going to be, I'll be here until about 11.30ish. And then after 11.30 is, when the sub will take over. So I have my lesson plans for tomorrow ready on the table and I have my nice little stack ready for Friday, including the teacher editions for the teacher to be using because my computer's leaving with me. So I have everything ready. I cleaned off my table. All I'm gonna do right now is this last little stack of papers I have. I'm gonna quickly go through them and put them in their mailboxes and then I'm officially ready for vacation. So I am extremely, extremely excited that all of that is ready to go. So I'm gonna have, give you a heads up for what I'm gonna do tomorrow. So this way tomorrow morning, I can tell you a little bit about what's gonna happen on Friday. So you're still kept in the loop of what we have going on. So, well, first and foremost today, my friend was completely disrespectful. Him not doing his work is his business. But when I'm speaking to you and you want to blatantly ignore me, that is when Miss Jones' hat comes off and Miss Jones shows you where she's from. Because you're not going to disrespect me in my classroom. That, that's one thing you're not going to do. So when he decided to get disrespectful, I sent him to the office and I told the office I do not want him back in my room. So I was trying to put up with him and ignore him. When our para came in, he was being disrespectful to her. And then when she started to get a little agitated, that's when I was like, you know what? You can go ahead and walk him to the office and let them know I don't want him back in my room. I don't care what they say. He's not coming back in my room. And I put my foot down. Like, I really hope they called his parents because every time he has an issue and he leaves my room, all I do is do work with him in the office and then he comes back to my room which is fine, give him a little time out, let him cool off, let him fix whatever issues he has and he comes back. Today though, disrespect is what I'm not accepting. I did not want him back into my room. He did not come into my room until the last 10 minutes of the day, so right before dismissal is when he came back to my room. So I didn't have a choice then. But not, really, I'm here to teach you and you wanna catch attitude, like bro. Anywho. Moving on with the positivity. And that's a sad thing too. When he left my room, the class just felt lighter. And it's so sad, it really is. It shouldn't be that way when you're not around, the class atmosphere changes drastically once you leave the room. It shouldn't be like that. But that's exactly what happened. Like you just felt like you can breathe once he was gone. 
he was just being so negative and nasty today and i tried to speak with him because he was fine this morning we came back in from resource so i'm thinking all right something happened in resource during pe either he couldn't play or something happened so i kind of pulled him to the side you know is everything okay did something happen that's when the attitude started he just refused to speak to me as if i did something to him but okay moving on the rest of the day was fine we got through everything we needed to do i kept my promise and my kiddos did their kahoot today on the compound words and they hit 91 percent so the whole class including our friend because that was pre-attitude all got a dojo so they earned it i was super proud of them i'm gonna do another kahoot with them tomorrow um, might not be as easy, easy when I doing compound words because this phonics, this week's phonics was compound words and silent letters. For example, the right, how it has the WR, so the W is silent, or NAT, the G and N is silent. Um, there was another example, no or not, the K is silent. So dealing with silent letters like that is what I'm going to have their Kahoot be on tomorrow. So this way we're touching upon both of the, the phonics. Um, trying to think. We did that this morning. We reread our story this morning. We did our context clues. We read some text feature or we found some text feature question answers in our story. What else did we do today? I really feel like that was majority of it during writing we started brainstorming for their letter so tomorrow with the sub they're going to be adding more to it and i allowed them to work in their groups so they can bounce ideas off of each other so they're doing their brainstorming paper um what else did we do today oh my gosh for math we did go math six nine and i gave them their six nine homework because we're starting to do regrouping where they're regrouping there are tens and they're regrouping the hundreds. So they have to like change the tens place twice. So we, I gave them the homework for that so they can have some more practice with that. And then tomorrow we're finishing Go Math chapter six where I, by doing six ten. So they're gonna be doing that with the sub. So I have my TE here already bookmarked the page and I'm going to rip out before I leave here their six ten homework that I'm going to give to them in the morning. So all they have to do Friday morning is turn it in. So I'm going to write that on the board and get all of that ready. So tomorrow will be such an easy sliding day, hopefully, fingers crossed. But everything is planned out. Everything is typed up. I got my Friday plans typed up. Of course, they're color coded. You know, Miss Jones likes her colors. I even did that for the half a, half a day plan. I was going back and forth trying to figure out, like, should I just type up the plan since it's just a half day or whatever but i still did it so she is ready whatever she it is that i don't know if she's going to come in at exactly 11 30 when i'm leaving or if she's going to come in a little sooner i'm hoping she comes in a little sooner so i can kind of give her the heads up who to watch out for or aka our friend who to trust my my two i have a one boy and one girl who i trust with this classroom so I got I want to give her like headings like that because I didn't think to put that in the plans. But yeah, so all of that is good. Tomorrow now, um, when I leave, I'm doing reading with them and I take them to resource. So after resource, that's when she comes in. So she'll pick them up from resource. Well, maybe either she picks them up or I pick them up, but they'll be picked up from resource. And then that's when the substitute um, carries on. So she has grammar planned. Um, she's going to finish the Horizons grammar with them. I'm just going to read from this. Um, they already have their grammar packets, so she's just going to do the one page with them. Then they're going to continue any work in their catch-up folder. No, they're going to do their brainstorming paper that I was just mentioning to you all about that we did today. They're going to add to it. And I said they, they may work as a group or independently. During content, which happens to be after lunch, they have their social studies magazines. And then the magazines are here. So they're gonna be doing number six or week six. Uh, so they're supposed to pass it out as a class. They're gonna read and discuss the cover and the inside of the magazine. And I put in bold, they do not complete, they don't complete the back until Friday. So the little activity that happens on the back, they're going to do all three magazines, the one from today, this one for tomorrow, and the one we did yesterday, they're gonna do all three of the back on Friday with that sub. 
So I made sure I stressed on this one, they do not do the activity on the back. So when they're done reading the magazine, they put it in their catch-up folder so it's ready for Friday. And then of course math, they're doing Go Math Lesson 610. I have the page numbers there and I let her know that the TE is on the table right here with the work. So that's tomorrow. Um, I guess tomorrow morning I will give you Friday's rundown and then I'll wrap up this video. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye teacher tribe. Good morning, teacher tribe. Happy Friday Eve. Today is Thursday. <laughs> Today is Thursday, February 24th. Oh, and it's the morning time. I am just getting myself put together. I'm only gonna be here half a day. So I'm gonna have to close out this video before I let my kiddos in. So I figured I'll tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do tomorrow with the sub. This way you're still getting the full shebang of what happened this week, even though I won't be here. Well, first and foremost, I just ripped out homework. So I have that ready and prepped to give to them um, when they walk in this morning. I'm only going to be here for pretty much MTSS, which is small groups um, and or multi-tiered. I don't remember what MTSS stands for, but for, for small groups. So I'll be here for that. Then we have phonics and reading together. So after that, around 1045 is when they go to resource. And that's when I'm done for the day. Then 11.30 when they're picked up from resource, that's when the sub will start her day. So that stack is here ready. The stack for tomorrow is ready. And I figured I'm going to go over with you my sub plans. So, <clears throat> so she knows tomorrow to turn on the TV and take attendance. Then um, MTSS, obviously she can't teach MTSS. So I have her just having the whole class on their computers. Mm, for phonics, she has the worksheet. Normally we would have done the worksheet today because today for reading is day four and tomorrow's day five. But I figured I'll do something with them on the computer today for phonics and then I'll let them do the worksheets tomorrow um, during day five. So it's a little off, but they'll be fine. So they do the worksheet during phonics. I put on there for them to do it independently and then go over it as a class. Then during reading, they have their weekly test, a normal day five routine. It's already here, already it's stacked up for them. So I gave her instructions on how to make sure their desk is cleared, have the table captains get the dividers. They already know where to get them from, make sure they get enough for everyone at their table. This way, um, it's a normal procedure. And then just had her make sure, you know, she's walking around, making sure everyone stays focused and eyes on their own paper. Um, after their test is done, they know where to turn it in. Then they're gonna work on their culminating task. So their culminating task is pretty much steps that go towards their project at the end of the unit. So their end of the, I don't think I looked at their project for at the end of the unit now that I think of it, but they're gonna be doing step one for prepping for that, um, that assignment. Unit six, they had a letter. They had to write a letter to one of the characters in the unit. I don't know what they're doing this unit. I gotta take a look at that. Now I'm curious. But they're gonna be working on the first step after their test. And then um, I said if they finish early, they can work on anything in their catch-up folder. I prepped some more handwriting worksheets and um, cursive worksheets for them to work on. So that can definitely keep them occupied. Um, we don't do small groups when I'm not here. So they can be working on something independently just to pretty much kill time. It's Friday, it's just gonna be a light day anyways. So during writing time, remember on day five, we normally do grammar during writing. So I have the grammar worksheet here. It says maintain constant verb tense across paragraphs. So they have to read the paragraphs. So I gotta take this off. They have to read the paragraphs and choose in the parentheses what's supposed to go there. So past tense ver verbs. Then on the back, they're rewriting the sentence and they're adding commas where they're supposed to be. So that is their grammar. And then, um, but before I have them doing that, they're gonna be doing their last sheet of their Horizons Phonics, which we started yesterday. Today they do the second sheet and tomorrow they do the third sheet. So they do Horizons, then they do grammar. Then of course there's resource, not resource, recess, and then there's lunch. So after lunch, they come back, they're gonna do their social studies magazines. So yesterday, today, nope. Tuesday, yesterday, and today, they're gonna to be doing the social studies magazines. 
So I already have that for today's sub. They're gonna be doing week six magazine. So today they're reading the magazine and then tomorrow they're going to do the backs of all three magazines. So I have that, that instruction in there for the sub. So I already warned the kids they're not supposed to do it until Friday and to keep the magazines in their catch up folder so they can just take them all out tomorrow. Um, and then I gave permission that they can work as a group or they can work independently. And then they end the day with go, um, no, not go math. Today they end the day with go math. Tomorrow they're gonna end the day with I ready lesson 13 and they're doing the whole lesson with the sub. And then of course I have the TE here for the sub. <sighs> Drops Mike, I crushed it. I love when I have all of my organization stuff together and ready. It just makes my heart happy, especially when I'm already mentally traveling. <sighs> so I'm ready to go. I am going to enjoy my brownie that my assistant principal baked for us this morning. I'm going to get their homework ready. I'm gonna write it on the board and then I let them in here in the next four minutes. So Teacher Tribe, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below if there's anything you want me to show more of or if there's anything you need me to do more of. And I look forward to hearing from you all. Thank you so much for being a part of the Teacher Tribe. See you all next week. Bye. Thank you.